Hi, today we'll be talking about file cloud sync. File cloud sync is file clouds desktop client that will allow you to download your files and folders located on your file cloud to your local computer in such a way that you can access your files without having any internet connectivity once synced. To start off, once, file, once you're logged into File Cloud Sync, you're going to notice a desktop shortcut with the File Cloud icon. When you right click it, it's going to take you directly to a location where your file clouds are, files are being synced. From there, you can easily access your files. File Cloud Sync grants you great capabilities such as viewing the activity, right? You can pause the sync, restart the sync. You're going to get a message that sync has been started. However, this is usually done automatically. If you click on settings, you can click on your account settings to edit them, view your login information, or even change your language. If you have a proxy, you can set up your proxy settings by clicking on proxy settings. Selective sync will allow you to sync individual folders. If you do not want to download every single file and folder in your file cloud, you can just click on only folders below or to sync to this computer. Click on add folder. Immediately it will connect to your file cloud and you can select from here which files and which folders do you want to sync down. If not in use, please do remember to remove this option Otherwise, File Cloud Sync will not sync your document as it will be waiting only for this specific docs. Network folders, if enabled by your administrator, will be allowed to download your network folders to your local computer. That way, you can have access to your company's data while you're on the go. For example, in here, I'm going to select that I want to download my marketing folder. Select. And I want this to happen every 30 minutes at folder. Now you can set to allow remote deletion, which means if you delete something on your file cloud drive, sorry, sync, it will also delete it directly on your um, file cloud. Now, within the settings, you have backup. Backup is a feature that allows you to select your local files and folders. Like for example, let's say you want to sync up your pictures. Click on add folder. This will automatically back up every 30 minutes every folder that you add within the pictures, right? So that way you never lose up your uh, pictures or family groups or others. Now, if you go over to the advanced settings, you're going to be enabled to enable file cloud to only sync on specific hours, right? Just by clicking on edit. Or you can enable file cloud to, let's say, okay, I want you to sync every day, only Sundays, and specify a time range. File cloud sync also includes bandwidth rate control which will allow you to control file cloud sync bandwidth. That way it does not use all of your internet speed to sync files. You can also set the frequency of how much you want file cloud to be synced. If you want to enable or not enable Docker queue or even do automatic locking when, op when opening files. Under help and troubleshooting, you're going to be able to check for a new version, open data folder, or export the configurations or import them. This is actions usually done under support sessions and others. As you can see right now, my file cloud sync is picking up all the changes I made. Therefore, if I go into my file, I'm now even able to see my network folders. Since we enabled it. I can also see my personal files. 
see my documents and I can see Atom or a new file. If I were to open up Atom, for example, from here, automatically I'll be able to change this document to hello. This is a test. And save it up. Immediately when the file is saved, it will sync back up into File Cloud. Now, once correctly configured File Cloud Sync Client, you will be able to, for example, right click on the file and easily share. If I click and click on share, you're going to be able to see. Uh, your sharing permissions which can easily be done by allowing everyone or if you want to just allow your selected users. Once done you can actually add the share and immediately those users will have access. When you add a user like let's say John, immediately a message box will appear to send an email to John. Once done, I can click on send and it will let me know that the email has been sent successfully. And then you can close it up. Same behavior is done for folders. Do you keep in mind that once you have completely synced File Cloud using File Cloud Sync, you will not need internet access to access your documents. You can use them on the go without internet connectivity. You can even apply changes without internet and once you regain connection, your changes will be uploaded to your file cloud. For further questions, please feel free to reach out to your support team or check our documentation under www.getfilecloud.com slash support docs. You have a great day.